Hello everyone, welcome to this self-advocacy series. My name is Raquel. I am an occupational therapist passionate about helping people reach their full potential through everyday advocacy. This month's presentation will kick off an eight-month series focused on learning about self-advocacy and how you can integrate the concepts into your daily life. This month, we will discuss what self-advocacy is and what it can mean in your life. So what is advocacy? To advocate is to support a cause. For the purpose of this series, the cause we are supporting is ourselves. Advocacy can help bring change that can fight discrimination, promote inclusion, and support our well-being within our communities. The goal of this self-advocacy series is to teach lessons on how to make decisions and choices that affect your daily lives. So whether this is a new idea to you or you've been practicing self-advocacy for a while, here are some tips to remember when being a self-advocate. Never stop being curious. Ask questions. Always ask for clarification in things you don't understand. Ask questions about your health and health care. Raise questions about inclusion in your community and more. Educate yourself. Knowledge is power. The more you are aware of your needs or educated on things happening within your daily life, as well as within your community, the better you will be at advocating for yourself or making your needs heard. Speak up. Speaking up may seem intimidating, but it is important to share our thoughts, feelings, and ideas, as well as ask questions, especially when facing decisions or situations that affect our lives. Educate others. By advocating for yourself, you are educating others on your needs, your thoughts, and your feelings. This promotes inclusion in our close circles of family or friends and in our communities. Where should I advocate for myself? Advocacy happens every day. It could look like asking questions about your health, a medicine, or a treatment plan at your doctor's appointment. Maybe you need assistance while in the community and ask a store clerk to help. There could be something at work that's challenging to complete, so you ask your boss for some support to get the project done. There are so many examples that you may see in your everyday life. The main idea is that self-advocacy helps us to receive supports or adaptations we may need, and it can help you be actively in charge or included in decisions and tasks throughout your day. In other words, self-advocacy is people speaking up for what they think is important. It is something everyone is capable of. Here are some questions to think about. Feel free to pause and reflect. Some responses will be discussed as a guide, but there are no incorrect answers. One, when is the last time you advocated for yourself? Maybe you spoke up for what you believed in, or maybe you asked questions about your health at your last medical appointment. Two, why is it important to advocate for yourself? Advocacy is important so that you have the knowledge needed to succeed and are given the chance to participate in decisions that are being made about your life. Three, what is one way you can advocate for yourself more? Things like asking about the why decisions are being made or how you can make your voice more heard. Ask questions, be curious, and be an active participant in your life. Here are just a few resources to help you kickstart your self-advocacy education. Stay tuned next month for more on self-advocacy. Thanks for listening.